41 Action News, a new commitment to victims of abuse at the hands of Catholic priests. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall talked with the newly installed bishop and a victim to find out what's now being done to help. Dia? Yeah, good evening to you guys. William Kopp is one of 11 children in his family. His father, a deacon in the Catholic Church for 35 years. He says he was sexually abused in that church, but tonight he attended a healing service led by Bishop James Johnston. I was repeatedly sexually abused by Tom Reard. William Kopp was molested as a young boy in the Catholic Church. He took away any chance I had at, quote, a nor normal life. Tonight, the Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, hosted one of many healing services for people like William. I think people need to hear uh, the sorrow and they need to hear um, repentance. Newly appointed Bishop James Johnston presided over the service with specific goals in mind. Speak to the sorrow uh, and to ask forgiveness um, of, from those who have been hurt. The church is also taking steps to prevent abuse, like this mandatory training for all employees and volunteers. I have a family member who had been sexually abused, and I understand um, what that can do to, to an individual and how long that can affect them and how bad that can be. This three-hour training has two parts, one to address the problem and the other to fight it. It's almost 100% where people say, I'm glad I learned so much, I'm glad I came, and there's stuff I can take back with me. The church is finally um, taken a hold of this by the reins and is really, really reacting and being proactive about this. To prevent fresh wounds while giving spiritual direction to those who still bear scars today. How to uh, find healing, uh, the healing that God can bring, and it's, it's great. It's a gift, and, and it's there for the taking. He took all that from me, and that's what I'm trying to work through. There are three more healing services scheduled through June of 2016. They are open to anyone who has been impacted by sexual abuse. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.